Hello, this is the Hacker Triple O Seven, and today I'm doing a theme review on a theme for Windows Seven. Um, it is, as you guys can see, in the Ubuntu theme. It's a uh, Ubuntu theme for Windows Seven. Um, it's a great theme, guys. As you guys can see, um, you won't get these custom icons. Um, but the theme went all out. We got the custom um, big black font. We got the back arrows. We got the arrows here. By the close buttons, we got the custom orb with the custom start menu. It's a great theme, guys. I suggest checking it out. Um, I'll have a download in the link just below with everything you need to make your theme, your computer look exactly like mine. So when you get your download, you're gonna get this uh, file right here. In here, you're gonna get um, about four different files. Um, all of it right here. We got a picture. So this is what you guys can see. It's just a preview of it, so we got some of the features of this theme. Next to it, we have a how-to text document. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to do everything in here. Now, if you have to, uh, you know, go back for reference, you guys can also view here. And if they have any dead links or anything, you guys can also use these links here. Now, make sure that um, your your computer is patched for third-party themes. If you don't know how to do that, you guys can uh, patch it here, or I'll have a link in the description below. To watch one of my other videos describing how to do that. Everything else I'll show showing you guys. Again, this is a good reference. So, so um, first things first is you want to get the theme obviously. So what I suggest doing is taking this, putting it over there, opening a new window, put that there, and then go down to uh, your Windows folder, then go into your Resources. Oh, I passed it. Uh, there you go. And then open your themes folder. And in here, you're gonna go in. Then go to the other one. Open theme, and drag the corresponding um, folder and file into here. So, personally, I'm just gonna grab the left one right here, drag it in there, and drag the left one here and drag it in there. Um, I'm not gonna do that because I already have the theme and it's gonna mess everything up. But once you have that guy's done, um, we'll continue on to the next step. So once you've done that, you guys can exit out of the window here. And technically you have installed the theme and you guys can go and apply it. Now I'm going to show you guys how to get everything else ready. That way when you apply the theme, it's a big um, caboose and it looks really cool. So if we go over to the tools, we'll have Windows 7 Arrow Blur, blur Tweaker. See so this? Using the um, your error blur. So select either 32 bit or 64 bit depending on your architecture and your computer. And what you're going to do is you just hit I hide blur. Everything's going to disappear for a second and then come back and you'll be all good. Next thing you're going to want to do is go over to the resources file. And this is really um, preference. So first we'll start with the fonts. All you got to do is go to either Droid fonts or Ubuntu fonts, open it up, click on one of them, and you have to hit the option to install it. And then it will apply it, and you're all good. Same goes for all of them. Now we have icons. So in here we have a uh, files that I downloaded for you guys, and here we have a copy, or sorry, um, tutorial on how to make them. And they also, it also comes with a template. So if you guys are design, if anyone here watches this video is a designer or wants to design their own based off this one, you guys can use this right here. In the preview picture, you guys can see this is a preview of the icons. I am not currently using them. Um, I do have them on my computer, but I don't have them applied right now. So there is there is token light, which is um, white version, so you can go with that. Or if you like darker um, icons, you guys can token dark, and you guys will get the darker version. The really sweet icons, um, even if you're not using it for this theme. Um, these icons also work with a lot of other base, other themes, and they're just great icons in general. Over the next folder here, we have Linux Ubuntu, which just um, uh, WAV files, so you guys can apply there if you want the uh, Ubuntu sound effects. Next, we got one of the most important ones, navigation buttons, which is this stuff up here. Now, by default, it won't be changed, and a lot of people have problems with this. Now, in here, you'll have about five uh... ten pictures and you have this program right here 
The program is the one with the forward and the back button. To change all this stuff right here, you're going to open this program up. And all you got to do is click on one of these things and then hit change selected um, bitmap. So select default for example, and you should see it's highlighted. So select whatever one you want, and then go to change, select the bitmap, and then select the corresponding one. So make sure it has a name for you. So it says default. So you're going to go in there and you're going to find the default one. Click on it. It's going to blink for about a half second and then come back and you should do it. Do them all and you should have your theme ready to go. After that, we have two more quick ones. We have the Ubuntu Start Orb. So this is the one you guys can see over here. So it's like that and you go over highlight it. It's a cool little Start Orb. To, uh, and here's a preview picture of it in action. There you go. So not highlighted, highlighted, and, and highlighted again. To chart change this one, you just open up the file all the way to the right, Windows 7 Start Button Changer. Go over to the start up here, click it, click U12.bmp or find it if you have to first, then click on it. Again, your start menu will go away, and that when, once that's done, you'll have your custom start over. Last but not least is your wallpaper. It comes with a uh, basic window or basic Ubuntu wallpaper. Of course, you guys can get your own, and by, by all means, you can. But it does come with one, just in case you want the default one. And after that, guys, you should have your com computer already set up. Now, right-click, go to Personalize, and scroll down. And you should be able to find your you want to theme, apply it, and then you should get this beautiful Ubuntu Maverick theme. That's about it for this video guys. Hope you guys liked the video. Um, if you guys liked the video, like the, the video and subscribe if you want to have some more theme reviews and program reviews coming up. Besides that guys, have a great day. This is the Hacker 007 and I'm signing off.